can't find it, can we duel? Until then, let's put our friendship on hold. <laughs> This is the Hey Gigi Dustin. I'm here to talk about what happened today on Stanley, his passing. It was actually a big shock to me to learn what happened to the comic book legend. To be honest, I actually felt a mixture of feelings. Grief, surprise, shock, and even sadness. Well, I actually known Stanley, not personally, but I actually known him through names and his cameos and everything. To see to see a man that is a legend that he's been so been around since the creation of the Marvel comics and even up to now it seems it seems too much. And also so sudden. Sorry sorry for my stuttering, but I very I'm very nervous about this right now and also I try, I'm trying to handle this so I I know Stanley through the cameos and names. The first, the first time I came across Stanley, the of him was in the Spider-Man cartoon from the Fox Kids. When when Spider-Man visited visited reality, similar to ours, by the Spider-Man actor, and he met Stanley. That's the first time I actually saw the creator in animated form. It was so surprising. I mean, because technically Spider-Man has meeting his creator for the first time. And it was it was a bit surprising. I haven't seen him first because back then I wasn't much of a Marvel fan. I was I, I am now I, I am now, but actually I I do watch some Marvel movies. I watched the Fantastic Four two movies, and occasionally the X Men The Last Stand. Sorry, sorry about that video halt, but I, okay. So Stanley was a very good um comic book writer. He wrote so much comics, he created Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Captain America, which is basically by default the first Avenger, Su Submariner. I don't know much of first because, well, he hasn't moved beyond the comic book boundaries to have his own movie or even a cartoon. If you, ex excluding the, the Marvel superhero friends, cartoons, cartoons of the 60s, and Hawk Hawkeye. And possibly the X-Men, but I learned the X-Men were not... Well, actually, he created the X-Men as the, the Uncanny X-Men. But not actually the X-Men, but but it also pre but it predicted the X-Men. So, I... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I've, I'm very, you know, in a mix of feelings. Because he was... He brought birth to these heroes. And it's, it's going to be very but a bit of a shot to see him go now. So, I don't know what to say next, but he was a very good comic book writer. He even appeared in cameos and have two adventures, Infinity War and Ant-Man. I don't know, I don't know how we would do in Captain Marvel, but since it's already finished production, and this was before way he died. So I guess that we will find expected, and, and, and that's for Avengers 4. I just hope they film his cameo. Hopefully, maybe be less because, because, as I realize, Avengers Four is basically the final part of the MCU first part of iteration, and also Stanley's last cameo may be like a symbolic way of maybe that everything we know so far is technically coming to an end. Well, not end, but to still continue on, but the one we know will technically be ending soon. I don't know what to expect in the future, but all we know is the Marvel movies will never, will never be the same without his cameos. But I guess we have to know it, it eventually will come. So I'm here. To, so I'm here to give my condolences to those so personally who know him, even the fans who met him. So met him. So I please I give my condolences to you. So this so this is my first thing here on the tribute since. It was a bit of a shock to me. So the first time I heard Stanley's news was I was driving from in in the well I'm not gonna tell you that, but when I first hear the tweets from the from the other YouTube, the Spidey Squad, 
if you know about it, the Spider Squad is a fan community YouTube that supports Spider-Man in the new game Spider-Man PS4. It was founded by Evan Fiarca. I actually watched his videos and he was very interesting and also and there were two. I mean, I love that how he put his enthusiasm on Spider-Man. And so I re I, see, I receive a lot of tweets. I re hold on. I receive I receive a lot of tweets from him and his followers telling that Stanley was dead. When I first heard about it, I was like, well, the, fir the, fir the, the first time I heard about it, like, I didn't understand what was happening. I assumed that maybe that Evan was doing something, like, um, maybe contributing. But, it, but, 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 but when I, but when I heard the news saying Stanley's death, the world just stopped for me. The world. I knew that Stanley is, well... Elderly in, in elderly in his years, and I knew it eventually, like all humans, he will pass away soon because well, we all knew it by heart. But it seemed so sudden, and I was hoping maybe he might live up to a hundred. But but unfortunately, it happened, and very so soon. I mean, with with Avengers four coming around, we may expect to see. Well, much more news and how we react, but I guess we're never gonna see it happen. So here I am. So on the new, so after I heard the news, I was so shunted. So I heard. So I typed into Wikipedia to learn, and I saw the death, the death date, and it just happened so sudden. I I received lots of tweets from his followers, Butch Harmon, even Kyle Heber, who you know the actor from Dragon Ball Z. Even expressing his his grief, so it was a bit of shock to hear that everyone is telling that Stanley is well g gone. I mean, we all knew that his partner Jack Kirby had basically passed away many years ago, but Stanley feels so immortal, very immortal. Stanley feels so immortal that to see him die was seem absurd, but we all knew. And we had to accept it now. <sighs> so I'm here to give my condolences to all the fans. And hopefully, Stanley will forever live on in our hearts and our minds. And hopefully, to the Avengers, the MCU, and to all people. Excelsior is what Stanley would have said. It was a very catchy phrase. I mean, catch phrase. And. I respected him. So hope so Stanley. Hope you reunite with your wife and also your partner. And also I don't know who's there was another third partner. I couldn't be able to remember it. But I hope you reunite in heaven. May God bless for you. Wakanda forever. Avengers forever. And hopefully Tony will defeat Thanos and Avengers for hopefully he'll defeat him. And I'm wearing this hawk as a tribute. And here in his original form. Forever. And also, I'm gonna give my shout out to the Spidey Squad. For and also to share our grief to you. My, I mean my grief, my grief to you. So see you soon and bye bye. This is the Hey Austin Justin signing out.